A man says he was in a restroom on the UT campus when another guy grabbed him. Now the university is warning other students about this sexual assault and reminding them that there's help on campus. The Night Beats Brandon Jones joins us now to explain. Brandon? Well, Mike and Quita, UT Austin provides two private support programs for students who have been impacted by sexual assault and other acts of violence that are not mandated to report to Title IX. A recent study shows that 15% of undergraduate women at UT Austin reported that they had been raped. Tonight, the school wants students to know that there is help out there regardless of gender. For many college students, it's that time of year to unwind ahead of summer vacation. But instead of focusing on that, several students at UT are concerned about safety. It's unfortunate, but it's not surprising. UT students really. received a notice from police after a male student reported he had been sexually assaulted in Belmont Hall on campus. It's very frightening because like, although I am a male identified student, I still have a fear of it happening to me. The student says he was in the restroom shortly after 8 Wednesday when another man entered and assaulted him. There's like a stigma against like, oh, men can't be assaulted. Um, or like they're ashamed for it or they feel like they can't come forward about it. Coming forward with incidents like this is exactly what Bree Van Ness wants students to do. We know that this is a prevalent issue that students on our campus and across the nation are facing. Ness is the coordinator of two support programs on campus that provide a safe and private place for students who are victims of sexual assault or violence. She says the programs empower students by providing information and resources. Ness says that can include meeting with a police officer. We can help either accompany them to those meetings or have one of those officers be able to come to our office space where it might feel a little bit more comfortable and less intimidating. Police are still looking for the man they say is behind the assault at Belmont Hall. In Austin, Brandon Jones, KVU News, Nightbeat.